In a rapidly changing world, postal services everywhere are having to adapt faster and innovate better. The sector is striving to build fully integrated networks, products and services to better meet the needs of customers and businesses in the 21st century. Je déclare au nom du président de la République de Côte d'Ivoire, son Excellence Monsieur Alassane Ouattara, ouvert les travaux de la Conférence stratégique mondiale 2015 de l'Union postale universelle. Chaired by the Republic of Côte d'Ivoire, the conference gathered more than 750 delegates in Geneva to discuss progress on the Doha postal strategy and the trends and issues that will shape the postal sector's next global roadmap to be adopted in 2016. With mail volumes declining, we must shift the postal paradigm and put innovation at the top of our agenda in order to take advantage of the new opportunities that are emerging around us. One of these opportunities is trade facilitation. Several postal services are improving access to foreign markets for micro, small and medium-sized enterprises through innovative, easy export programs that cut through red tape. There are up to 510 million SMEs in the world, making up 80% of global business. And the postal sector is, and must continue to be, a partner of choice. Governments must rely on the national postal infrastructure to help them implement the Bali Trade Facilitation Agreement. Postal services are an important ingredient uh, in the mix that is necessary to implement this agreement. And it also has to bring around the table all actors, internationally and nationally, that are going to be supportive in creating the ability of these small and medium enterprises to implement this trade facilitation agreement. E-commerce, particularly cross-border, presents huge opportunities for business development and innovation. Global e-commerce sales are expected to reach 2.3 trillion US dollars by 2017. But posts need to move fast to gain and retain market share. Currently, the postal uh, networks are the networks of last resort. We're getting leftovers, packages and parcels that no one else wants. And if we don't adjust our products, services and quality to match with what the customers are looking, there's a real danger that we may get marginalized in this, uh, in this race for winning the market share in, in e-commerce. The Universal Postal Union's new e-commerce program aims to increase reliability of postal networks, predictability of service delivery, and transparency of products and services for international customers. UPU is with e-compro in train de construire the language qui nous permettra d'échanger des paquets sur l'ensemble de la planète. Et UPU est le moyen de parler tous la langue du e-commerce. Pour moi, c'est très clair, ce sont les... But e-commerce is not just an opportunity for postal services from the industrialized world, but also for those in the developing world. Although Africa remains the region with the lowest penetration of e-commerce, a recent UNCTAD report says the future of e-commerce in sub-Saharan Africa is promising, and posts want to capitalize on this. You can commande on an ordinateur, you can pay on an ordinateur, but the ordinateur ne vous donnera jamais l'article que vous avez commandé. Donc il faudra bien passer par un acteur qui euh, physiquement vous portera la marchandise que vous avez commandée euh, sur Internet. Donc euh, je pense que la Poste a de grandes perspectives euh, de devant elle, et surtout en raison du développement du commerce électronique dans le monde. For successful cross-border e-commerce, there needs to be better integration of postal operations, transportation and customs to create a seamless postal supply chain. Posts are working closely with customs to speed up clearance of postal items by exchanging more data in advance and improving processes. This will improve all stakeholders' ability to take part in the global economy. We pay a lot of attention to SMEs, so we try to provide as many uh, practical tools as possible to facilitate 
we try to simplify and harmonize our procedures to provide maximum facilities and facilitations for business. The conference clearly recognized postal services as a motor of the global economy. With their logistic capabilities and the reach of their vast networks, postal services are well positioned to provide effective solutions to facilitate trade for online merchants and small and medium-sized businesses worldwide.